What? No, I'm not. I'm not in a contest. I'm just supposed to tell jokes about people pee and smoke. Okay, yeah, y'all are good. I uh, I've been short on cash. I, I tried to go to a sperm bank to sell some of my sperm, and they didn't want it. Apparently, you gotta have a like a degree. You gotta be really smart and have good genetics. That didn't really make sense to me. It's like if I had a degree, I'd have a job. If I had a job, I wouldn't feel the need to slay my baby juice on the side. <laughs> the lady at the counter kept going, we want strong, smart swimmers here. That's what we want, strong and smart swimmers. Made me feel bad. Made me feel like my sperm's not good enough. Like apparently my sperm treats the vaginal canal like the lazy river at Splashdown. <laughs> Just loitering at the cervix wall. Man, you know, fuck the egg. I'm gonna eat this cheeseburger. Smoke a cigarette. I, uh, I recently saw the new Mission Impossible movie. Here's my problem with Mission Impossible. It's the title. It, if the mission is impossible, you can't do it. It doesn't matter how many gadgets you have in your satchel or buildings you climb. The mission is still impossible. What they should call it is Mission Very Difficult but through teamwork and ingenuity, they somehow pull it off. I guess that doesn't fit on a ticket stub. If it was really Mission Impossible, if it was true to the title, the movie would be like 30 seconds long. It'd be like, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is collect a ragtag team of Looney Tunes characters, consisting of Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny, play a basketball game against some swole aliens who got their powers from the greatest NBA players in 1996, the game will take place on the surface of the sun. Tom Cruise would be like, what? Isn't that the plot to Space Jam? Set on the sun? That's impossible. I can't even do that. I, uh, I've been trying to find a way to rollerblade and it not be gay. Because I used to love rollerblading when I was a kid, but as I'm getting older, the culture changes. Like, I don't feel like I could fit anymore. It's like, I can't pull off a half shirt. I think I found a way, though. What I've been doing is I've been dressing up like a hamburger from the old school McDonald's commercials before I go out rollerblading. Because when people see that, they're not like, look at this gay dude rollerblading. They're like, holy shit, is that the hamburger from the old school McDonald's commercials? And by the time they process all this information, I've already stolen their hamburgers and skated away. <laughs> nobody, uh, nobody quite knows the exact day Jesus was crucified on. So the way that I see it, there's a one in 365 chance that it was on April Fool's Day. Stick with me. Now, if that's the case, Maybe this whole crucifixion thing is just an April Fool's Day prank that was taken way too seriously. Like Jesus is meeting up with the Romans and Judas on March 31st. He's like, guys, as we all know, tomorrow's April Fool's Day. I got this great prank I want to play on the disciples. What you're going to do is you're going to pretend to kill me. And then three days later, I'm going to come back. Everybody's going to get it to joke. It's going to be hilarious. So they went through with it. Sure enough, on April 4th, they were looking for Jesus' body. They couldn't find it. Jesus, he creeped up out of the woods. He was like, sight, bitch, April Fools. And they were like, oh my God, Jesus. You died for our sins. And you resurrected after three days. This is amazing. Thank you so much. And Jesus, he just rolled with it. He's like, yeah, that's totally what happened. And now Judas is pissed off. So everybody thinks he's an asshole, and really he's just a team player. Want to play some jokes on some people. You know, a lot of people think Jesus is going to be upset when he comes back. He's going to be upset for the way we've been living our lives. I personally think he's going to be way more excited about the wide selection of flip-flops and sandals we have nowadays. <laughs> Jesus was definitely a sandal man. He's going to be like, guys, what's up with all of this gay sex and drugs, etc.? All right, well, what the fuck are Crocs? <laughs> well, I'm a size 10. If you have a pair, I'll try them on. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, I kind of look like an asshole, but my feet, they feel fantastic. <laughs> and they're waterproof. That's good, because every time I walk on water, my leather ones get ruined. I'm a carpenter. I don't have 
that kind of money to be buying sails every time I cross the lake. I see some of y'all look offended. You gotta understand, that's not a joke about Jesus. That's a joke about sandals. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I don't worry about my conscience. How many, how many people in here like rap? Like rap? I like rap too, but a lot of times rappers talk about things that make things seem really easy that, that, that aren't that easy for me to do. You know? Like Biggie's got that song, it's like, fuck bitches, give money. I can't just fuck bitches and give money. It's not that easy. First off, who are these bitches? Are they attractive? Because if they are, I probably don't have a shot. And if I do have a shot, I gotta take said bitches out to dinner. Probably at a place like the Red Lobster. Then I gotta try to act like I get money, which I don't. I just end up sounding poor. End up saying things like, hey baby, fill up on biscuits. That shit is free, and then we'll split an appetizer. <laughs> like if I remix that song, if I remix that song to fit my lifestyle, it would be masturbation, self-loathing. That's just way less gangster when I do it. All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks. Hey, keep it going for Zach Brooks. Yeah,